we have to keep in mind that God does not do everything for us. Some things we have to do. We have to keep in mind that God is not going to do everything for us. And I know that's kind of hard, especially for people that grew up with that mentality of just pray and ask God. Just wait on God. Go to church and wait on God. Praise and wait on God. Read your Bible and study and wait on God to do it. We got to lose that mentality because that's not right. There is something that we have to do. I'm telling y'all the responsibility is ours. So if you look at some of the scriptures that we are in love with, that we love to quote, you got Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I have to do something. Then we love Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. Whatever your hand finds to do, that means you have to do something. The responsibility is ours. James 1 and 22. Be ye doers of the word. And not hearers only, deceiving your own self. Be doers of the word. We have to do the word. Again, it's our responsibility. Psalms 113, no, Psalms chapter 1, uh, it ends with whatsoever you do shall prosper. Whatever you do shall prosper. You have to do something. None of these scriptures talk about just praying and waiting on God. We got to lose that mentality. John 14 and 12. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do. We have to do something. That's why I talk about God's system. God's system requires that we Put the word into action in whatever area we're trying to activate God's system in. It's our responsibility. Okay, so we got to lose that pray and wait on God. We're not waiting on God to do nothing. God is waiting on us. To do the word. We're not waiting on God. To do nothing. God did what he is going to do. God laid out a system. For us. To get things done. So the question is not. What is God going to do. The question is. What are you going to do. But you see, we've been tricked, or over the years, we have been fooled into that waiting on God mindset. So now, people have a way of thinking that God is going to bless us 
when we get to heaven. The point of our lives have never been to just get to heaven. I don't know who made that the priority. It's God's job to get us to heaven. God is going to do that. That's not even on us to even worry about. God is a now God. What are we doing now? Don't be so concerned about God rapturing you out of here like God can only bless you once you're in heaven. Don't be so concerned with dying and going to heaven as if God can only bless you in heaven. God is a right now God. What are you doing right now? So if God just wanted to bless us or do things for us in heaven, answer this. Why did he raise Lazarus from the dead? Why did Christ come to earth healing the sick if the only thing we had to look forward to is death and getting to heaven. Look like to me, if that was the case, Christ should have left some of these sick folks alone, let them go ahead on and die, if that was the only thing he was trying to get us to. But it wasn't. God wants a specific life for true believers. He wants you to live that life right now. Activate God's system right now.